Welcome back everyone. You're watching Alive in History. My name is Tyler and we're still in Lancaster, Pennsylvania today at the site of Forey's Mill Bridge. Covered bridge. As you can see over my left shoulder. I wanted to show you guys the base of this bridge and some of the uh, architecture that's involved from especially underneath. So if you haven't seen the first video on this, go back and check that one out. We actually walked through the bridge. On this video, I may call it part two, we're going to be walking and focusing underneath the bridge. So check out some of this old stonework that they use along the, the uh, supports and for the sides here. It looks like, uh, I believe that's limestone uh, with some cement. They did obviously have cement back in that time around the Civil War and then it became more uh, refined and, and popularized as time went on. But I just think that's awesome stonework. Definitely uh, stood the test of time. Let's take a closer look down here. You guys can see this side of the bridge as it spans across the water there. Pretty cool. There's actually the old, the site of the old farmhouse. I guess that would be um, original. Looks like it's stone as well. Just really cool, really uh, very scenic area. So let's go underneath the bridge here and I'll show you guys some of these, this old, uh, Architecture from the old beams. You can hear the cars going by. <laughs> so yeah, you've got some cross bracing going on there. Really large uh, wooden beams. I wouldn't doubt that many of them are still original. Remember, this bridge was built in 1869. If you haven't seen the uh, part one video, um, I'll try and attach that at the when this one's finished playing. So go ahead and watch that if you like. Spanning across this little creek here. Again, if I had to guess, that's probably, oh, I don't know, 30 to 40 feet or so. Just really neat seeing uh, all the architecture and just think of all the craftsmanship and skill that went into building something like this. I guess these are, you might call these like the main beams here that uh, support really the, like the whole bridge itself. And then these are more like cross braces. Um, yeah, I just, I just think that's amazing. You can see some of the bolts fastening those pieces together there. Really cool. This I find interesting. You can see how those are crossed, like crisscrossed almost, but there's a little bit of a gap in them. And then also if you can see Right above there, there's also a gap. I wonder if a really heavy vehicle would go, sorry. I think when cars go above that, it does compress down. Um, I'm not sure if they really press on top of each other, but I bet if a heavy enough vehicle did cross it, they would probably um, compress to the point where they would be touching and then they would support that weight. So you think, well, there's no moving parts on, on this wooden bridge, but there actually can be. Uh, there's flex and I'm not an engineer by any means, but I just think it's really interesting. Uh, these old bridges. So yeah, if, if you find these type of old structures interesting as well, um, I recommend coming to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I believe there's something like 12 of these old covered bridges. Um, and I just think they're great to you know drive through and if you want you can you can stop and get out and look around like I did and I just think it's uh, really interesting can you imagine um, being one of the carpenters that worked on this bridge back in the day 1869 uh, obviously no no vehicles um, to help you assist that, no cranes or anything. So they would have had to lift all these uh, by hand or through like pulley systems. Uh, they, pro they likely had mules assisting them uh, or horses to bear some of that, some of the weight. Um, so again, I just find it very interesting. So let me know if you guys enjoy these covered bridge uh, video documentaries and I'll try and do some more. Um, if you haven't already, if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, subscribe for more videos. Hit the like, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, 
and I uh, hope you found this video interesting, thought-provoking, and remember, until next time, we are Alive in History. Take care.